Hmm. Unknown entity error. Minecraft has detected an unknown presence in this world. It is advised that you do not pass this screen. Ignoring this warning may result in strange occurrences and or encounters. Remember, don't stare directly at the bugs. Oh, that is a hilariously awesome extra layer to this. I know what I'm doing, just like every creepypasta ever. Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Minecraft From the Fog, the data pack that basically haunts your game. Now, I didn't intend for this to be a series, but after having so much fun with it, and seeing how much fun everybody else apparently had with it too, I couldn't help but come back here and try again. Now, the data pack has been updated since last time, so I don't know what changes are in it, but just after making a few switch flips in the config, it seems like there's quite a bit more that might happen to us. Now, per popular request, I've gone ahead and disabled the scare noises when we spot the mysterious player who seems to be stalking us. Since we're starting at night, I could go to sleep, but I think before I do that, I want to go out there and go looking for some bone meal for my plants and some silk for my bow, which I intend to make, because this sword is just not doing it for us. It's really interesting to me, oh by the way, it seems like the music has finally decided to join us after being absent for the entire previous video. But it's really interesting that I'm talking about the game in this way, but that's because this data pack, in my opinion, the best thing about it is how seamless it is. This might as well just be another survival Minecraft Let's Play, but with that one added element that we constantly have to be on the lookout for. And I love it about that because what I said in the previous video is that it feels like the feeling that inspired it. It feels like what people always felt when playing Minecraft. It's a reason for feeling watched. It's a reason for feeling unsafe or not alone. Which is just what it always felt like when you were down in the mines at 3 a.m always looking over your shoulder because you swear you saw something, or you swear you felt eyes on you. This game has always been great for that. I think it's pretty much the epitome of creepy and comfy, and maybe even the introductory course in that feeling for a lot of people. Now, unfortunately, I've actually made a pretty big mistake here, and I've baked all of my potatoes. Uh, which unfortunately means I don't have any more to place in the ground, so we're just going to have to deal with carrots and bread until we can find some more down in a cave system or something. I think they can spawn in crates inside mine shafts. I actually haven't really played survival seriously in a number of years. I've mostly stuck to creative, so there's a lot that I don't know about how to actually play the game. However, some of you guys have been helpfully telling me in the comments, so there's a few things I want to try. And so I think our goal for- Ha! Here's a spider! I think our goal for this part is going to be to expand our base. We need to build onto this because it is not safe, as any Project Zomboid player will tell you, to walk outside and have the possibility of enemies immediately assaulting you from all sides. So we need to add on to this. Something that's secure both from ghosts and from the undead and other enemies. Although... To be honest, I'm not quite sure how to ghost-proof a house. Maybe we'll try hanging clothes of garlic. There's no guidance here, since there's no villagers, so... I guess we'll just have to do this through trial and error. What that means is that we're gonna have to be spending a lot more time down in the mines, and that's... kind of a dangerous idea. I feel like if I'm getting so creeped out on the surface by what's following me, it's gonna be even worse when we're down there in the dark. Oh man, it's the Bone Brigade! They found me! I don't know how, but they found me! One of the things you guys said is that if we jump up, we'll do more damage as we're coming down. Is that actually true? Uh, maybe. You might have gone down in one hit less. 
You also said that axes actually do more damage. Uh, can we... Oh, we can't actually see stats if we look at this. So we have 6 attack damage, 1.6 attack speed, and 9 damage, but it's slower. So that's the trade-off. And we got ourselves a bow anyway. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll use that for now. And in order to make arrows, which is something I completely neglected, we have a decent amount in stock, but I think we need flint from gravel to make them, right? And feathers. Oh man, we're gonna have to farm chickens. We finally have enough iron now to complete our suit of armor. Stop it, Enderman. I know that's you teleporting about. Uh, and now we can go like that. And we have maximum protection. Uh, we should also probably get ahead of this, craft a whole bunch of sticks. Always want to have uh, enough wood on you to have a crafting table and be able to make more torches if you're going down into the mines. Now, one thing you guys have said to me is that uh, I can use wood to make charcoal. I did not know that. However, I think I did know it once upon a time, but I I've just never been in a position before this where I needed to make it. I mean, how often are you not able to find things like iron or coal for so long? That's been so weird. And I am absolutely going to blame it on the haunting. Ooh, a horsey. <laughs> you know what's funny is every single time I go back to play this game, I forget how you tame a horse. And every single time I forget how to tame a horse, my mind immediately goes to Randy Marsh leaning in the doorway like Stan. Stan, how do you tame a horse in Minecraft? Hey everybody, me from the future here. I bet you're wondering how we got into this situation. And whoa, what's this? Look at my crazy diamond pickaxe. Well, here's the deal. I recorded about two and a half hours, same as the previous part. And for whatever reason, anytime I was down in these tunnels, anytime I was looking downward, anytime I was in a cave, I would experience massive frame loss in OBS leading to desync in the audio that was off by tens of minutes, and literally half the video I recorded just being still frames. I am beyond pissed. Now, it didn't drop everything. Usually when I was on the surface for a while, it would be okay, but the audio desync is still there. So for the next 20 minutes or so of this video, which I've already edited, you're gonna be seeing basically the highlights. Now, luckily all the majorly important things do seem to have at least recorded. So you'll get that. I've turned down some things in Minecraft, turned down some things in OBS, and hopefully it'll be okay right now. I'm looking over at the OBS window and it looks all right. But unfortunately, it's just very hard to tell that while you're recording. So anyway, I do apologize for that. Uh, you'll spend the next 20 minutes getting acquainted with the basic gist of how I ended up here in the Lost World. And when we get back, I'll give you a quick rundown on what we're doing right now. I don't think I've actually been through this way before. If this can go deeper on its own, then that's very, very good. Eh. Hello? Have I been through here before? But hang on, that makes very little sense. How- I wouldn't have come through here in the dark. That's weird. See, at this point, I don't know what to blame on the mod. Ooh! Ooh, ha ha ha! That was fast, and I didn't have to go all that deep to get it! Sick! Alright, we have found our first diamonds! And I think now might be a decent time to begin our expansion. Now, I'm not quite sure what I want that to look like just yet, but I definitely know that visibility is king. So I think we're going to want to expand a little bit in this direction, and use this uh, as a staircase to get to a second floor. I think we want to get up high as soon as possible. So we'll add another room onto here. We're probably not going to finish this tonight. And we'll see, somewhere within here there will be a staircase. So we'll start off with you, uh, and we'll make this more pretty later on. You, you, and that'll be enough to get us up to here. And yeah, man, this stuff is such an ugly building material for the purpose of home building. I usually prefer to make my house out of wood. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to work this out because this stuff is the most abundant material. I'm constantly in survival mode in this in this sort of dilemma between practicality and criticality. Which is actually one of the things I really like about Minecraft. How, since it doesn't just give you all these materials, how you actually have to expend the effort to acquire it all. Having things that look pretty and use all these exotic materials, it actually feels like a status symbol when you build your suit of gold armor, when you build your house with its lapis floor. That's one of the things I really love about this game, is that it rewards both ingenuity and creativity. Now, uh, it's going to take me forever to get there because I'm in the water, but what some of you have told me is that it's actually possible to excavate our shipwreck further, the one we arrived on in my lore, and also that there's another one we found over there, but I'll explain more about that when we get to it. Now we can see there is a little bit more under the water, so perhaps if we start digging down in the sand, we can get into the guts of this thing. Uh, there's some more trap doors here, and yeah, it does look like there's actually a hold underneath. Ah, here we go. Yes. All right. Buried treasure map. Okay. Well, I know what we're doing today. Some feathers, so we can make ourselves some more. Uh, so we can make ourselves some more arrows, and we get that. Those trap doors might be worth taking as well. Okay, so we at least sort of know which way we're going. Okay, so that sandbar over there must be what we're seeing. Which actually brings us to the other thing I wanted to talk about, or at least I think it does. If we come over here, in the first part we saw some weird structures sticking up out of the ground. I thought they were like glitched trees or maybe even something weird that was happening with the with the mod but what you were saying is that due to some kind of terrain glitch or a generation glitch rather these might actually be the masts of a buried ship we can do some archaeology let's try it let's see how far down this goes uh wow it's so buried that there's actually stone over it that's incredible a true archaeological wonder uh, well, let's start digging. Yes! Okay, thank you for telling me about this, because this is a really cool find! Alright, so we found this. Now we've got to start digging into the ship itself. Now, normally you would think that in an archaeological find such as this, you wouldn't want to do any damage to the structure. But we got places to be, bills to pay, so we're going to do this the haphazard way. I just rhymed, and I didn't even realize it. I'm a poet, and I don't know it. Let's place a torch and see what happens if we tunnel through the middle here. Oh, <laughs> imagine if that was diamonds. Man, how ancient must this shit be to find it in such a state? And the ghost of the water it sank in is here as well. Jeez. But we do have something here. Uh, what have you for us? Uh, some TNT, more poison potatoes. But not a whole lot of tremendous use. Alright, well I'm sure there's more to find here, but unfortunately we have kind of reached our loot limit. Uh, let's tunnel our way out of here and start trying to find that buried treasure. Which seems like a weird thing to do when we've reached our loot limit, but I at least want to find its location. Oh, it's actually very close by, huh? This must be the ship that buried it. Guess they didn't get very far. Here would actually be a good use for the TNT. Well, maybe we don't want to risk that. Well, let's start digging. According to this, X marks the spot. Here we go! Oh, Minecraft is so cool these days. And we have Potion of Water Breathing. Two of them, which is exceptionally useful. Some Salmon, Gold, and a Heart of the Sea. What does a Heart of the Sea do? 
and some prismarine crystals, which again, all stuff I don't know what they do. I'll happily accept your iron right in the moment. Home sweet home. Never had a torch actually stay on this wall for a long time. Or any of them, come to think of it. Man, they just do not stay up. It's a huge waste at this point. I am now realizing you're going to knock the torches off of beacons as well. Oh no, can you knock down torches in the mines? Because that would be an absolute disaster. Oh, we need to store some of our stuff and get these expansions built ASAP. I have no idea what a Heart of the Sea actually does. But I do not have the time to figure it out right now. We Somebody was on fire right there for a second. I might be able to miss a regular Minecraft Steve, but I can't miss a burning man. Well, I mean, I can miss the event, but I can't miss a person burning. And build ourselves a nice roof. At least in the moment, because we're definitely still in the mode where we have to high. I knew that sheep was in cahoots. I knew it. But there they are, conversing directly, caught on camera. Let's carve out that, figure out where we want our windows to go. I think that'll do just fine. And I think all of this will look better as kind of an observatory. So let's place all this down. That's about it for our glass. So for now, you're going to be solid, but... You'll be expanding later, and now we can see our whole kingdom, or most of it. Um, 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 um! Okay, this is definitely part of the mod. We've established that now, which means we're done building with wood. Wow, that happened in the blink of an eye. All right, we need a new material for our floor. I'm thinking that regular old stone is going to be it. You done yet? Yeah, I, I don't want the floors to be stone forever. But it's clear that a solution is needed. I mean, I don't like having cold, hard floors where we're going to sleep. Although, I suppose we could always put carpets on them. And again, knowing this ghost, it'll probably burn them down too. But for now, we have this, and it's a temporary solution that works. Right now, it's starting to feel more like a castle than a house, but that's kind of what we need. Okay, so this was the recipe for TNT. I at least remember that much. But we only have enough to make two, bringing our total to four. And I think... Hi, was that someone there, or was that just the world loading in? I can't tell. Also, I'm honestly debating lowering my view distance so that we get that fog. That famous fog that we all were creeped out by. Trying to run this game on our crappy machines back in the day. Alright, uh... So I don't remember if you need flint and steel to activate TNT, or if it can only be done by redstone now. What just happened there? I feel like I got turned around and was, like, inside something for a second? Something weird's going on here. It looked like I was in, like, a zombie or whatever. Okay, well, nothing bad can happen if we fall asleep. Right? <laughs> Imagine if there were sleep events in this. I don't think there are. But then again, I don't know what to expect, because lots of things have happened that I didn't know could happen, and it's driving me a little bit crazy. Yeah, if this is going to be happening, like, it's one thing to lose stuff near my base. But if you're going to be removing torches all over, it's going to get to the point where I actually have to, like, account for losses to this thing. Let's remove the last of this stone and start putting together a compass because we really want to press the advantage we got from that other mine, so we'll get use, we can find our way back, and uh, we'll want to go downstairs and get some gold, which we can use for a watch. Which doesn't have a huge practical purpose if you're awesome like me and are ready to fight anything at a moment's notice, but it's still helpful information. 
strange. But we have this now. No, you did that on purpose. You did that on purpose. No, 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 no. That is such a coincidence. It can't be a coincidence. You knew exactly what you were doing. Well, I guess you could have spied me through the window. But still. Let's see what a place like this has to offer. Unfortunately, so much more of it is underwater. Which causes me so many problems. All right. Uh, but it looks like there's actually another segment. This is kind of damned off in a way. Oh, this is going to go so deep. This world has been absolutely brutal on me when it comes to iron, so we're definitely going to have to construct yet another staircase. And I think the way to do that is going to be with all that excess cobbled deep slate we built up. So I'm going to come back and get ready to do that. So we have the obvious entrance here. But to be more efficient, we want to come down over here. Okay. So let's start, for efficiency's sake, in this spot. Oh, wow, there's still so much farther down to go. Which is exciting, because it means that hopefully we'll find a lot. But also scary, because we've got a lot more to do. How do we go about this? Hi. I keep turning around and thinking I see things, but I don't know if it's because of the mod or if it's just because things are loading in as I do so. It's a whole world down there. The cave update really did a number on this game. Ooh, look at that. There's another one of those glowing squid over there, suspended in a waterfall. Oh, that is a weirdly ethereal sight, and it vanishes as we approach. Alright, so what happened here is I made my stairs down to a cave, which led me to make stairs down to another cave, which led to this deep cave, which I only entered by coming down this waterfall. Now we've set up our base camp here, excess stuff is here, we found another diamond, and some slime balls, because we had to fight some slimes. Now, I ended up cutting me telling this story when I encountered them. I know they've been in the game forever, but I've only actually seen them a handful of times. Well, here's the story. Years and years ago, I had a friend who got me into this game, and... He brought me over to his house, he was showing me some gameplay, and I thought, oh wow, that looks really cool. It might have even been the day I went home and bought it. But basically, he had created his house and mined straight down so that his mine was in his house. But he had had to seal it off because he encountered slimes, and they were such a self-replicating problem that they completely infested his base. Now, years went by, and I never encountered one in-game. I finally did, eventually... And since then, only a couple more times. I never see them. And I have no idea why, because it seems like nobody else I've talked to has this problem. Alright, end rant. I was really annoyed by that when it was so, so difficult for me to build those sticky pistons. But where are we at now? So over here, there's a bit of a cave that comes down into here. And I poured some water from the surface so that we could make some obsidian. Because my next goal is to get us into the nether. Let's just eliminate some of those. Now I think water, in order to create obsidian, has to flow down onto still lava. It will not work if it's flowing in any means. I've already collected a decent amount, but we'll have to mine this for the next 45 minutes. Oof, it's always so dangerous. There we go. <laughs> By having this, now it'll hopefully touch any lava beneath before the obsidian block actually gets to touch it. Okay, and now we have 14 obsidian, and that's good for us. 
I know you don't actually need that much. You can do it with 10, but I like to do things the right way. I like to do things the pretty way. And besides, whenever I build my obsidian nether portal, that's always a project and a half for me because, well, let's be real, that's a project that deserves weight. It's a project that deserves all the attention and care required for opening up a portal to the netherworld. Now, finding these deep caves is always really, really important. This is how you really find things, not by strip mining, which I'm not sure if I filled you in on that in the little briefing before. I did some strip mining in our initial mine, and it's how we found our first diamonds, but it's not really... It didn't find too much of use. I always collect redstone because it's so nice and glowy and it's satisfying to mine, but I think at this point in the game, I don't really have a tremendous amount of use for it. It's also kind of bizarre how in this playthrough, it feels like I'm almost finding more gold than iron. At this point, we are going to start building some crazy vanity projects. Maybe this should be our floor. Eliminate these creepers. Not that it really matters because, I mean, the ghosts can actually remove... No, I don't want to use arrows on you. There's so few. The ghosts will end up removing all of this if we're away for a while. So it's almost not worth it if we're not going to be exploring all of this now. Diamonds! Oh, this has been so good. We've already found one diamond down here that was all alone. Tore up the whole area around it looking for more. You guys are a huge threat. If I can get you to, like, shoot some of these creepers, that'd be awesome. There we go. You do that. Yep, that's right. Keep fighting. And that's it. We are completely out. You... I always forget that you're here, but... Leaving to finish editing what I had so far certainly did a number on me. Now, looking over at OBS, it looks like we're still doing good on the frames. So hopefully that keeps. Uh, oh, right. I almost forgot about the diamonds. How could I? Oh. Beautiful. But once again, only one. Why is that? Now, I've rarely had that happen before, but this is the first time I've seen it happen twice in such a small area. They're so spread out now. Oh, wait, there's more! Oh, this is bizarre. I've never seen them generate this way. More enemies. Ow. I'm not here for you. I'm only here for your land and your resources. Can't we get along? Okay, now finally there's more. You're not allowed to kill me now. I'm so close. I've come so far. It looks like there may even be a shortcut here. <laughs> In some ways, this is almost starting to feel like playing Outer Wilds. There was something there just now. That was weird because all I saw was like the glow and it looked like maybe diamonds, but that was not diamonds. I think that was another... Another ghosty goo. Alright, let's see where this leads. Or actually, wait, did I get all the diamonds from over here? Right, it was in here. How many of these can we get from this spot? Yes, yes. Brilliant. That's exactly what I needed. We can probably actually even... Uh, we have four. There's another one over there. That's enough for us to actually make... Um, a table, uh, an enchantment table, as well, as well as a diamond sword. Because if I am going to be using swords, I'm going to want to use it uh, with the most damage possible, obviously. Because damage is health, essentially. Now, let's take all this for our next idea. Now, what do we use lava for primarily in survival? That's right, as a free garbage disposal. Which is why we're going to want to bring some of it back with us. There is some lava. And we shall switch to our other bucket. And just grab ourselves some of that. Excellent. Got to be real careful not to pour that on ourselves in the event we catch fire. 
I've actually done that before. I've carried a bucket to put myself out if I fall into lava and accidentally poured more lava. It didn't help the situation, to be perfectly honest. Now, how do we get out? Well, in order to do that, we need to ride this waterfall all the way to the top. And what's crazy to think is for as deep as we are, look, there's even multiple layers to this thing. That is nuts. Uh, we'll have to ride ourselves as high as we can, and then we'll start taking the staircase that I built, which is actually quite deep. Oh, there's so many caves to explore here. This is definitely the way to go. Ah, the surface at last. Couple hours for me, but, uh, well, hardly anything for you because I'll have cut so much from the previous session. And there is our house over there. We're gonna work on prettifying it soon, since I am basically renewing this for yet another session. But we learned that the ghost actually has the ability to commit a hate crime on us and burn our house down while we're away. So we're not building out of wood, which is normally how I make houses look pretty, so that's kind of lame. But we need to start giving this thing some fashion and not just function. Go to sleep so as to clear the surrounding area. Get out of here, you. I'm about to use this space. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is a creeper crater from before. And these four grass squares in the center are, well, said crater. So what we're going to do is go like this. Boop. Now we build like this and this, and we just take our lava. This would be a lot better with four, but whatever. And we go like that, and it should expand to fill the entire space. There we go. It doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work. Not worth multiple trips when we have to go so far. And haboop haboop. And now, whenever there's something we want to get rid of, we simply go like that. And that is how you build yourself a garbage disposal. Seems a little overkill, but I like it. Man, every single time these torches get destroyed. We're going to extend this in this sort of direction. And maybe we go for a little bit of a angled thing here. Not angled, but rather rounded. Okay, okay, I'm starting to see something we can do with this. What was that? See, to me, that just looked like a black mass. The thing is, uh, it's on your screen for like a certain number of frames, but if I'm not looking at it from the get-go, like if I don't see it the instant it arrives there, I'm not going to be able to tell what it is. Are you scoping out my new base, trying to check out my defenses? Yeah, I think for now, we kind of have no choice but to build this out of Deep Slate. Just because, like, it's what we have. I don't have a lot of pretty materials. I do have some sturdy materials. Hello, you were very green. Ah, oh, you actually moved a little bit. You were following me. You didn't just stand there and then disappear. We'll build this and add some details to make it prettier as we go. It's also starting to become really quite clear that we need to expand our cellar. Moving these is going to be such a pain. But it's something we've got to do. Now, since this has no ceiling for now, because we're waiting for our glass to finish, I'm going to go ahead and put these doors right here so that we can potentially be safer up here. Although... I imagine it wouldn't feel quite as safe, considering we're totally exposed to anything that can see us out there. It's always really creepy when I look out at the landscape. I mean, there's some now, but it's I always get really creeped out when I look outside at night when it's been night for a while, and I don't see any hostile mobs out there. It's almost like the game is, like, preparing something for me. Like it wants me to feel safe. Might as well keep this up here. Yeah, this base looks absolutely nothing like it did at the start of this video, but that's kind of part of the joy of Minecraft, seeing things evolve over time. I view this really as an extension 
of that early game where we were huddled inside that shipwreck. All it is is various degrees of doing what you have to until you're able to do what you want to. Which is kind of the way everything works, right? Oh. Oh boy, we have actually tunneled into the cave beneath the place. So that's slightly problematic. We now have creepers able to spawn directly into our house. Uh, yeah, let's go gather some more materials before we make this any more of a thing. And as it begins to rain on another spooky, lonely night, we at least have a little bit more of a base to wander so that we can avoid all the creaks and groans of this place. Uh, once we get all this sealed up, which, by the way, it's going to be real fun knowing that there's a cave in my basement, uh, we'll have both interior and exterior access, and we're going to fill this with additional loot containers that are all going to be marked so that we actually know what's in all of them, because we really, really need to organize this some more. Might be even better if we were to go like this, right? And then the chests can be built into the walls. Hello, spider. I haven't actually seen that ghost in a while, but if anything, that only has me more on edge. Hello? Uh, hi, little chicken. Did you jump in through here? Uh, well, okay, you can stay here, I guess. Uh, unless you want to go out. Are you looking for the exit? Are you going to be like a fly trying to exit a window? Well, pretty soon my stone is going to be finished in the oven, and then you're not going to have anywhere to go, so, oh, okay, just leave. You know, you could have been really great as an emergent gag. So here we have the raw materials, all the dirt, gravel, any unprocessed material from mining. Over here, these are going to be like two chests full of building materials. This is probably going to be like armor, weapons, tools, any of that stuff. And who knows what this is going to be. Maybe miscellaneous. The point is, we need to get a lot more organized than we currently are now that we're coming into some more loot. I think it's time for us to start seeking our next big objective. And that, of course, is going to be where we're going to put our nether portal. Because clearly what I needed was to make the haunting situation so much worse for myself. If I were to go and craft a diamond sword, seven attack, same speed, uh, that's not really worth it in my eyes. I don't think that would actually reduce the amount of hits it takes to kill something. It would last longer, I'm sure it would be a lot more durable, but that doesn't really matter to me. It's not worth using diamonds on a sword if it's not going to be any better. Alright, here's what we've simply got to do, okay? We need to find a spot that's safe to put this nether portal, and I can't think of a better spot than the creepy cave beneath our house. I mean, a creepy thing's got to go in a creepy spot, right? Right after we liquidate the local inhabitants, evict them. Because I do not like squatters in this context. Now, how do we go about doing this? Well, I do like the idea of it being in simply a hidden cave under the house, but we're going to need a bit more space than this. So maybe what we do, and I think they did make it so that you can put nether portals in all kinds of sizes and shapes... But I think in our case, we're going to go for a classic one. Now, what do we need to make this work? We need one, two, three, four. One, two, three. A fourth on top. And that looks about right. Okay. Here goes nothing. Back when the nether came out, I didn't know about things being able to come through. I wasn't sure if that would be a possibility. So I would just build these in the most, like, obsidian-encased, like, Fort Knox structures I could possibly build. Well, in we go. Now, we don't have much on us. 
All we have is some basic materials, our diamond pick, which we maybe shouldn't even be going in with. Maybe we should switch to iron, but I'm too curious. I want to get in there quickly and a bucket of water to put ourselves out if things go awry. Here we are. Ooh. What is all this? This is not at all how I remember the nether looking. Uh... Yeah, these biomes are all things I have not seen before. Oh, piggies. Uh, I don't remember how these guys work. I do remember them from... Okay, you're hostile. You're a hostile. I do remember them from uh, the survival world I had a couple of years ago during the pandemic, but uh, I don't really remember quite how they work. I thought I remember them being non-hostile. That's weird, or maybe there's some way to make them non-hostile. I think there might have been something we could wear to make that the case. But yeah, we have netherrack and some nether quartz, which can be used to make some sweet floors if we need them. But I definitely want to get my hands on some glowstone as well. Reason being, unlike the, unlike the torches, those are most likely invulnerable to being removed by ghosts. See, I had reasons for coming here. I also thought I just saw something up there. But let's not worry about it too much. I mean... What's the worst that could happen in a location like this? Now, it seems like we also have some kind of weird nethery trees as well. What does this stuff do? Crimson stem, which we can use to make crimson planks. Uh, hey kiddo. What are you up to? I'm just uh, having a look around is all and... What are you? Oh no, Pumbaa. Pumba, no! P Pumba, leave me alone! What is this about? Ow! Ow! Okay, uh, run, 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 run! Almost ran straight into lava. Ow! 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 Who knew this place would be so unfriendly? Well, this ain't going in my favor so far. Man, it was like I couldn't even hit that thing even when it was close. I don't have any more arrows. I am completely out of arrows. There's no stealth. No stealthing this. Die. 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 Oh, there's a bunch of you. I killed one, but there's a couple of you, and uh, the, the whole the whole piggy brigade is on its way. Nope, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Actually, mm, well, if you're gonna kill each other... Uh, this is so stupid. A couple of you just ran into lava. There's two big pigs down there now. I don't remember you guys from when I played. I remember the pig, man. I don't remember you. Come on. Die. Sooner rather than later is better. And done. Well, that was intense. Ooh, and we get some ethically sourced ham. Alright, so we have a whole bunch of pork shops and a little bit of leather, which I believe we actually need to make books so we can get an enchanting table. We actually are a lot more dependent on animals than I remember. And I think I am going to have to do some farming, which sucks. Ooh, there's glowstone down there. And oddly enough, let's cut through all this. There's also some weird new material on the ground as well that I'll have to check out. But yeah, we have glowstone. And we can break that to get glow stone dust which we can use to make our own. Now, we don't get as much as one requires from doing this, and I believe there's an enchantment we can get where we can just harvest the entire thing without breaking it. Right now, that's not an option for us. We can at least get a few out of this. I'm also interested in this nether quartz. Hmm. Now, if we take these mushrooms, and I want to do all this sustainably, Want to figure out what these things are as well? Um, we'll figure out what we can do with this stuff uh, by growing it in the overworld. Which, I really don't see how that can go wrong. There's nothing bad that can happen as a result of that, I'm sure. Oh, great. More of you. More of you. Uh, I think I'm just going to leave now. Oh, baby piggy. 
Uh, I'm just gonna leave and take a bunch of your crap on the way out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Nope. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm done. Goodbye. I think I've collected more than enough samples for the time being. You can follow me through, though, can't you? Huh. It looks like our copper is actually going through the process and turning green. That's kind of cool. I think I had heard about this back when it was added, but I've never actually seen it do it. I think there might even be a way to reset it. On the server I have with my cousin and brother, I was actually thinking of building the Statue of Liberty out of it. Uh, we haven't actually done it. And we figured we have no idea if we want to maintain it or not. Let's chop down some of these trees and build some fences so that we can start up our agriculture as far as animals go. Because it's very clear at this point that if we're going to survive in the nether, we're going to need some arrows. And for that we need chickens. Clear out this here area. So we can make room for a pen. And basically what we want to do here is pretty much Factorio, but imagine the iron and copper plates going by are living sentient things. And we're never going to once question the moral ramifications of that. If we lure you first... Yes, you will be the first of an atrocity never thought possible never seen before in this land. I'm actually bringing a lot of horrible things here. We're starting to see all kinds of different ghosts. They seem to be taking on all kinds of different textures and stuff now. One of my favorite things about this mod is being able to look up in the comments and see all the times I didn't even know there was something there. And I'm sure that's going to be much more frequent in this video now that I've turned off the jump scare sound effects. I'm pretty sure I saw something up in the hills just there. All right, now. Boop, 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 and boop. Okay, four, not bad, not a bad start. Hi. Oh, great, now on top of everything, we've got livestock rustlers. That was so close, that always makes my heart skip a beat. Uh, okay, get over here. Yes, yes, I know you all want it. Let's go. And you guys have fun. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Nope. The parrots and the bats. Hmm. Well, we get XP for that, as well as a couple of additional chickens. Anything in these eggs? Okay, that was horrifying. What was going on with that texture? You were, like, burned beyond recognition, and you stayed for a pretty long time. That wasn't a ghost. That was a specter. All right, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chickens, or eight. Sorry, I shouldn't count my chickens before I hatch. Boop. See, that's why. Hello, little bat. You're a long way from home. There must be a cave over here. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that could be something to look into. Uh, but we are at high risk for a cave-in, and if anything goes wrong right here, if a creeper goes off, or even one misplaced click. Anything at all useful down here. Oh! Just like that! Well, at least it wasn't gravel. I, I just keep thinking I see things. That's the crazy part, is that I think I see things, and it sort of makes me underreact when there actually is something there, but then again, I don't know when there actually is something there. It's a, it's a really weird set of feelings. But I just always feel like somebody's right over my shoulder, like somebody's waiting to mess with me, which of course they are. I'm going to head back down into the mines now, because this pickaxe is definitely starting to show some wear. And when I build another one, I want to still have enough left to be able to make that crafting table. I mean, sorry, that, uh, that enchanting table. 
because we really want to get in on those upgrades as quickly as possible. Problem is, I don't remember how to make it, and I'm afraid to alt-tab for fear of screwing up OBS again. I've also brought some shears, because I do kind of want to get some... Squid! What are you doing? We're doing some extreme squid sports in here! Yeah, I definitely think this is a huge system that we're going to be mining for quite a while. But the thing I care about the most right now is still definitely the diamonds. Yeah, as expected, all of our torches are gone from down here, making them a total loss. We're going to have to completely relight this place every time we come down here, which is actually a huge cost. Ooh, that becomes a flaming arrow when you shoot it through there. That's dangerous, and uh, you're also pretty dangerous to yourself, I guess? So many enemies... So little to actually do. I think the best bet will actually be to move into the other chamber and start trying to maneuver around this lava, actually. If we can interrupt this lava flow, then we should be able to get down there. Let's try this. No, it's not enough. It gets trapped in what it creates. What if we were to create something where... Okay, okay, look. We do a one of these. And if we can get in front of that, uh, we can make a one of these. Right? And then we go around the other side. Let's just climb up this waterfall. The idea, I think, is to create basically a basket to catch it in so that it won't flow over the edge. So we go like that. And one below, we go like that. And that should stop it. Fortunately, lava is quite slow, so that'll take a little while, but I think that's about all we need. Maybe we go like this. Ooh, ooh, this is about to make the whole place a lot darker. I have had a huge impact on my environment right there. But it's an impact which favors me. Well, except for the darkness, of course. Uh, let's switch to our torches. Yes, I know I can hold them in my offhand. Holding anything in your offhand in Minecraft looks so unbelievably wrong and cursed, I refuse to do it. You've even said I could build shields, which I did not know about. But again, offhand, evil. Oh, look at this. It's a whole lava pit. Just that most of it's solidified. Oh, wait. Can we rescue the squid? No. I don't know if we would have been able to push it back in anyway. Oh, look at this place. This is so cool. We're so incredibly deep underground, and I love thinking about that. How we had to climb so far down those caves, and then drop even further to get to here. It really makes you feel like you're somewhere you weren't meant to see, but instead of being punished for it, you're being rewarded for it. Look at all this, this wall of lava flow. And right now, we don't even have a bucket, so we're going to be in quite a bit of trouble if we touch that, but we do have diamonds. Which means we'll probably be in that lava very shortly. At least three. Okay, now I realize we're carrying three diamonds and three more diamonds worth of tools. But what if we didn't leave right just this second like any sane person would? Uh, let's create... A bridge over here. We don't want to completely block off this lava because we do want some still flowing down into the chamber below. Oh, no, 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 unless that happens and they knock me right in. Of course, that could also happen. That would be quite beneficial, really. Wow, it's a good thing they're so stupid. What is that? Oh, wait, is it another one of you guys? I didn't expect to see you spawning down here. 
Um, well, I'll kill you and take your stuff if you want. And you came all this way to deliver it to me. Hello, what is this about? An opening with a single redstone torch in the middle. That ain't me. I've never crafted a redstone torch. Is this something to do with the cave update? Or is this something to do with the I decided to willfully haunt my game update? So maybe there's nothing to be found here. Or maybe there is. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I've got a lot of cave to explore still. And things are very high risk because I don't have a bucket of water and there's tons of lava all about. Oh, more diamonds. This path was worth it. <laughs> it's weird. No matter how old I get, I never lose that joy from rounding a corner or placing a torch and seeing diamonds. This game has one of probably the best, like, reward systems of anything ever. It's like I said a couple parts ago, or actually just one part ago, it just feels like forever ago. It's all about big rewards and small rewards, short-term goals and long-term goals. Things to keep you constantly pushing for more and constantly satisfied. Sure, there's such a thing as instant gratification, but this is both. It's instant and long-term gratification to keep a larger audience invested. Not to mention a larger audience having more fun along the way. So much glow lichen. I- ooh! Sorry, have I walked into a domestic dispute? Here, let me resolve it. Uh, you're both exceptionally ugly, and you're made of bones, and I hate you friggin' bonies. I uh, didn't even need Scrooge for that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and post the link, uh, to that sketch in the description every single time I reference it. I was doing that a while ago when I played No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. I don't know why I've stopped doing it. Or if you still... There we go. Launch one into the other. I'm running out of patience for trying to fight you all. And look at all this gold. We've got gold there, gold here. I think there's more gold down there. Yep. Oh no, that's iron. More diamonds over there. Uh, see, the deeper I progress, the more swiftly this becomes a bit more confusing to navigate. But I just can't stop. Got that mining madness in this part. I'm so glad I'm not still playing from before. I'd be losing all this footage. Look at that. That is so beautiful. All right, let's collapse that gravel. Use it as a stand to collect our beautiful diamonds. And let's get him. I think I'm starting to push my luck a little too much. I'm being noticed by a whole lot of Skeletons. I've got pretty much more resources than I need in a lot of aspects. But then again, this cave does appear to be heading up, but that doesn't matter. It's not like that really matters because we're so far underground anyway that any small dips upward don't really mean much of anything. It's just, oh, that's the sign to leave. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. I'm going to start taking these torches because we're not going to be able to take them back anyway because they're all going to be gone next time we swing by. More diamonds. Oh, this thing knows just how to manipulate me. Yep, uh, everywhere we look. All right, it's as sad as it makes me, it is definitely time to leave now. Our inventory is very close to full. We have so much stuff, so, so much stuff. Stuff. But let's not get greedy. We are leaving with nine diamonds in our inventory. Net six, because we really wore out the pickaxe in doing this. Oh, look, the sky. Definitely didn't expect to see you so soon. Oh, and there's our stairs. Awesome. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to start marking our spaces with glowstone. Which means we're going to have to mine considerably more in the nether. It's actually kind of fun how this simple thing of the torches being removed by malicious ghosts 
actually has a pretty significant impact on the core gameplay. I have to constantly keep mining more coal, making more sticks so I can produce more torches, because I'm going to lose them instead of them being permanent. I have to constantly retrack through areas. Every time I leave a cave, I have to explore it again, unless I can engineer some solutions that are more permanent. Um. Um. Excuse me, sir. How did you get down here? The door was quite clearly closed. Thank you for dying. What was that about? Okay, well, we can put away our diamonds. We now have 14 total in there, which is more than enough for our purposes for the time being. And I've got an awful lot of loot to organize. Now, what are my babies up to? Uh, let's go ahead and just breed a bunch of you together. Nobody think about the ramifications of this, either. I'm sure intergenerational inbreeding is totally fine. Won't result in any undesirable traits over time. More. Shut up phone. And we're doing good. I saw you that time. See, the thing is, the reason I don't see so many of them is because I'm always doing something. Because I'm playing the game. But I think that makes it so much better. It makes it so much creepier to only notice things that are pointed out in editing. Or sorry, I mean to see things that are only pointed out in the comments or to only see certain things in editing. It always makes it so much weirder knowing that something creepy was near me, even in my line of sight, and I just didn't notice it because I was focused on something else. I always kind of had that fear when going back over footage that I recorded years ago, that I would see something that I didn't notice at the time. I mean, how many classic ghost photos have that story? Now it's getting quite dark. And I think it's a good time to start upgrading our base somewhat. What do you think? Because these these torches, they just aren't standing the test of time right now. So let's poke a hole right here. And let's have a look at our... I think I put it in building materials. Yes. Let's start putting some of this glowstone to work. Let's see how Brian deal with that. We'll also put one right here. Another right here above the door looks good. And another right here. And that should be our base safe, at least on the interior, for the foreseeable future. Well, unless the base destruction mechanic has some other tricks up its sleeve. Now let us also make a fishing rod, which we're going to want to use because... Look, we really want to start exploring some of these underwater caves, right? They're everywhere, and we want to explore the ocean itself now that there's so much more to see out there. I think I remember from my survival world from a couple of years ago that there's actually a fish we can use to make a water-breathing potion. We have a couple of our own, but we want to be able to do this sustainably, not just for six minutes total and then we're out. And I think we can even maybe get some enchantments to allow us to do that full time. But I think that'll be a goal for another video if you guys want one. In the meantime, I want to head back to the nether. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we have some feathers to make arrows. So we're going to have to take care of all this. Get as many of these new chicky dickies as we can get. And begin the slaughter of the old. Yep, boom. Try not to kill the small ones, but, you know, collateral damage is a thing. Uh, how many feathers is that? Only two. Oh, we're definitely going to have to scale up production in that case. Oh, I have no idea who's who. For all I know, one of you is the one who abandoned me in the basement earlier. Which uh, speaks to a sort of a more pathological side to what I'm doing here. It seems like we've got... Oh, come on, nope. Come on, one more. We can get one more out of this. No, oh, they're all clustering around trying to protect it. They're like, no, you're the only elder remaining. Well, too bad. No martyrs and no teachers. That's the important thing. Seven feathers. 
Well, this was all worth it. Yeah, we're clearly going to need a whole lot more of you. Oh! Do not even think about it! Do not think about it! Okay, that one gets to escape. <laughs> okay, the the great chicken liberation is on, unless I can get this fence closed quickly. The creepers are in cahoots. No! Ugh. No! Uh, where do I get uh, where fences? Do I even have enough? I don't think so. I think too many were destroyed. Two, three. Okay, we're gonna have to build the dirt a little bit taller than they can climb up. Ah, uh, two of them escaped, which brings us down to only one, two, three, four, five chickens. I did not expect in my little speed bump on the way back to the nether that we'd be playing chicken run the game. Why do I get the feeling that you guys are going to be coming back to liberate your brothers and sisters soon? And you, there's another member of that cell. Found where they're located. Back up. You are not going to be pulling a repeat escape attempt. We have altered our security measures. And it won't be happening again. See, when I played Survival a couple years ago, I think I started to talk about this and I got distracted. But the method that I came up with for keeping spiders out of the village I was living in, and this is what I meant when I said that the nether was a big part of it, was that I would build a wall around the town and I would cover the top of that wall in magma blocks. That way, uh, spiders wouldn't be tempted to climb over. And it worked pretty well. Now let us craft 40 arrows, not bad. We definitely did get enough to justify this trip. And we'll put all that away and get ready to go once more into the nether before ending this video. I actually really do like that we now have a source of ethical ham. Pigs, we don't have to feel bad about killing. Oh, they're making noises that kind of remind me of of when the nether was new. When everywhere you went, you could hear the wails of the gas. Gold weapons, yeah, that'll do you great. Die, please, thank you. Oh, you don't drop ham. All right, uh, bang, bang, bang. Good damage, good damage. Boom. Let's kill the little ones too. We don't want any survivors. That's what we learned up in chicken camp. Bang. Oh, you're breeding little ones. It's the last thing we want is these things spiraling out of control. Don't want too many of them right outside our entrance. Maybe we should build a little mini base in the nether. You know, something that will allow us to be protected when we first arrive. Pick up our ham and our missed shots. And you guys are actually running away. Let's start grabbing samples of whatever this is. Weeping vines. What do they do? Let's not cut them down entirely. Let's make it so that there's enough here that more can come back. Oh, you're charging. You're charging. Oh, nope. But the small ones, they run when damaged. Die. Yep. We're gonna hunt you down eventually. I don't like you guys being so close to my spawn because you're big and you hit like a truck. Um, trying to ambush me now, are you? Well, it ain't gonna work unless you lead me back to that guy. Come on. Come on. Guy, please. Ugh. I don't think it does as much damage at all if you don't charge up the bow. But we got it in the end. It's certainly making things a lot easier for us than using the sword. Now, what is this stuff? Oh, he called for backup. He called for backup. He called for backup. Uh, I, I shouldn't be running this way. I don't want them to be able to knock me over the edge. Where are you guys at? That was like a horror movie. Reaching its tusks through the through the open gap right next to my head. Oh, they really are everywhere. Uh, yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. And you can't do nothing about it because there's lava down there. You won't path into it. Ha. Ha. Death. 
Come get me. How was that not a hit? I watched that sail right through you. Never mind, more ham for me. Hey. Oh, you know what I think it was? I think if you're wearing gold armor, they won't come after you. I don't know if it has to be a full suit of gold armor. I don't know if it has to be exclusively gold armor. But I think that was how it worked. You guys get angry when I steal your stuff? Well, too bad. That's what I'm here for. There's so many of you. You're everywhere. And the deeper I go, the more I'm running into even more of these things. You just popped out a baby. Just right in front of me. No care in the world. Oh, you got a crossbow. Can I get that from you? I think sometimes they drop it. Oh, this is this this was a bad idea. I shouldn't have just charged forward like this. Oh, everything's going wrong. Everything's wrong. Everything's wrong. Run. Run. That's all that matters is to run. Oh. Okay, they're all bearing down on me now. I have to leave. I have to leave. There's not even time to eat. Oh. Nope, 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 nope. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I gotta get through the portal. Go! Through, 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 through. Mortal, portal, 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 portal! Oh, come on, what happens to my stuff? Well, we wake up right here, that's so stupid. Why does it take so long? Oh, wow, some of my stuff actually did make it through. All right, we're getting everything. Oh, no, did all of my stuff make it through? I think it did. My stuff came through. I didn't. Let's just check to see if there's anything else. I would also very much like some revenge, so that too, please. Oh. There's some infighting going on. Okay, we're observing more about their internal politics, and they're all running away. Oh, I get it. They're on the hunt for the pig. Is this one of mine? No? Okay, I think I got everything back. We got our diamond pickaxe. I came in pretty light. So that's all. Can we eliminate all of these things, or should we just start coming in here wearing gold? I think, look, we only have nine arrows left. It's not really worth fighting. That guy doesn't want anything to do with us. Maybe they're only aggro if we attack them. Well, okay. Good science experiment. You'll come for me regardless and run away. You guys don't care. Well, you don't seem to anyway. You, however, do. And as soon as I attack you, the others will rush to your defense, right? And you're actually all quite fast, too. Yep. All right, we're learning... We're learning the underworld politics. Ow. Okay, nope, 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 nope. I think I've angered the pigmen. I think I responded and attacked the wrong thing. Turned around, made an assumption. It was the wrong assumption. And now I am persona non grata. At least for now. So let's get through. Hope none of these guys think to follow me. And if they... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hey, bud. Um, no, you can't come live with me. Huh. I was actually going to take you to see the sights. This game is a very pretty game, so there's quite a few sights. The place you come from... Well, it's pretty too, but there's not quite as many sights. Oh, I've got ghosts up here and everything to show you. No, not that one. There's a different one. Look at them up there. Planning together. Oh, they know I see them, so now they're backing away. All right, so that has been another Minecraft from the fog. And it is so fun. I mean, I feel like I saw the ghost way fewer times this time, but each time has been way more terrifying, and each time has been... Well, it feels a little more malicious, doesn't it? The one attempt to burn my house down, which completely shifted the way I play the game and go about constructing things. And that one that stayed just a little too long and looked so burned, and actually quite terrifying for a Minecraft visual. I think in the next part, you know, for as cool as it was to go to the Nether, 
we didn't really learn all that much. You were on fire and appeared to be made entirely out of some kind of crystal. I knew you'd show up to send me off. It happens every time I don't have something else I'm focused on. I'm sure it's not that it didn't appear as much. I'm sure it's that I didn't see it as much. And honestly, I think that'll probably make the video more fun to watch. There's so much more to see for a keen eye. Uh, I think we didn't really get too much out of the nether for as cool as it is. So I think the next big thing for us is actually going to be in the oceans, in the submerged caves that are all around us that I haven't been able to explore. And in order to do that, we're gonna have to work out our underwater breathing skills. I think they have actually added the ability to swim more quickly. I don't quite know how to do it, but I think this is what we have to do. We need to start moving underwater to an ecosystem we can't normally inhabit at all and where there's all kinds of creatures and structures that I have very little idea about. But that'll be next time. Until then, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try out this mod for yourself, that link will also be in the description. Dude, that is so cool that they actually put the first video as sort of a trailer on that site. And as always, I will see you in the next one.